Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Today I'll be talking to you about Google Docs. Google Docs is the fourth lesson in the series that I'm doing on Google. If you would like to see some of the other ones, please go to our YouTube channel. It's Salem Public Library, Ohio. Um, that's where you will find uh, all the other videos that I've done to this point. But getting back to our subject here, Google Docs is basically the free version of the word processor online by Google. Um, Google Docs is very similar to Microsoft Word, um, but the thing is with Google, everything is free. You don't have to pay for the Office Suite or any of the things that go with that. Um, so first off, let's talk about how to create a Google Doc. If you've already have your Google Drive set up by making a Gmail account, um, you can simply just go to your Google Drive and then find the plus button and click on that plus button to create a new document. And when you click that new, you'll get this pop-up here that comes up and you just go down to where it says Google Doc and click. And you have two options with this within this. If you go to your Google Doc here and hit this button, you'll have the option of creating a blank document or creating a document from a template. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. But let's start out first with your blank document. So when you create a blank document, it will look like this and you just click that plus and it takes you to a blank document. Um, there's different things that you can do with it. I'm going to bring up an actual blank document and walk you through these steps. So if I go here to my blank document, um, you can see here up at the top left, it says automatic Lisa's untitled document. So uh, you'll want to go ahead and change that to something that you are going to remember the document by. One nice thing about Google Docs, it automatically saves for you. And you can see up here, it will say last edited was a second ago. Um, you could also go back and look at the version history. So, you know, you made four or five edits or changed things. You can click that and go back to the document itself and see what you have done um, to change it. So. Uh, the cursor will start blinking here on your page where you are to start typing and then um, you are good to go to to start your document. Um, one thing is important is where do you find it once you've created it? So if you are in your drive, um, if you named whatever you named the document, you go to your drive and you'll see it right here, the document that you created. So I will show you um, on mine. So I created mine as the sample. So I will go to my Google Drive here and I should be able to see um, sample right here. I just created it. So it'll show up. All you have to do is go to your drive and you'll be able to see where that document is and what it's called. Um, there are document template options, and this is what I was talking about a little earlier. There are so many different ones that are available, and I'll go ahead and show you what they are. So if I go to my new to create a new document, and I hit that arrow to pop up, and from a template, I'll be able to show you all the different templates. Um, you have brochure, resumes, recipes, letter, project proposals, and then it kind of breaks them down by type. It gives you a nice little preview of what they are first. So there are a lot of nice templates. You are able to edit them according to whatever you need. So if you keep scrolling down, you'll see all different things. So it's nice. I guess if you want a certain thing set up for you, uh, you just have to go into it and edit it according to what you need. So let's, well, let's look at this one here. Let's look at the recipe template. So when you click it, it will come up like this and you can see you can change whatever the recipe you're typing, put the ingredients, the preparation and tips. So it's kind of set up for you. You just have to replace these things. So if I hit my back button, it will delete that and I can type whatever I want to. And like again, like I said, it automatically saves it for you. So there's no saving involved. So you know that um, it'll be available for you. 
Let's talk about the page setup options. Up at the top of your document, and if you will see the file, the edit, and those things across the top. If you click on the file tab, this is the pop-out box that you will get. You have a lot of options here. The first thing would be share. That means you could share uh, this document with someone else. You just click share and you're going to put in their email. Um, I'm going to skip over these and I'll show you these live, but let's go to the page setup. If you go to page setup, you have the option of portrait or landscape. Uh, you have the option to change your margins, your paper size, and your page color. Uh, and then you could set these up a certain way and choose set it default and it will keep the default for that page for you. When you go to the page um, size, these are the options that you have for your page size. There's a lot of different ones. And then this pop out over here, this is the option for your page color. So you can see there's a lot of different options to change the color of your page. So let me go back to the document that I had as the example. And I'm going to use file. Uh, and I'll show you. So if you want to click share, it will give you a box that comes up like this. If you know someone's email address, all you have to do is type in the email address here and click done and it will share it with that person. You can also um, click um, share, get a, get a link and you could change the link to, you could change to anyone with the link can use it can view this, you can click copy link and you can email that to them. So you do have a couple options for sharing the a document. Under that file tab again, if you click the new, you will get other options. You get new document from template, spreadsheet, presentation form or drawing. You can create something new. If you click open, you can click open a document that you've already have created. You can make a copy of this document also. Say you want to edit, but you want to keep the original. You could make a copy and do it that way. You also have the option to download. And when you click this download, you have the option of the type of format that you want to download it. So you could download um, as a document, uh, open document format, rich text format, PDF, plain text, web page, and EPUB publication. So you have lots of different options to download this as a different type of file. You can email it directly from here as an attachment. It will come up here and you can who you want to send it to and the subject and you can even um, put a message in there and you can determine the type that you want to send it as. So you can do that also and that makes it nice and easy right in the document. Um, you can make it available offline, so you know you're not going to have internet, but you want to work on it. You can make it available offline to work on a computer. You can see your version history. If you decide, you know what, I need to name it something else, you're just going to click rename and do that. You can also just click up in the box where it says the name, like sample, and change it. You can click move, and if you click move, you can determine where you want to put it within your drive. So I have different folders and things, but if you want to move it into one of those, you can, all you do is click the wherever you want it, and it will move that into your drive, into that spot. If you want to add a shortcut, you can to your drive, move it to the trash, publish to the web. It even gives you details, language, page setup, and print. So you have a lot of options just under the file tab of um, a Google Doc. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the formatting text. Uh, I have it laid out here, but I will show you directly on the, on the live one too so you can see what it looks like. So if I am in here, I'll go across this toolbar. The first thing, it may be off your screen, but it's the undo, then you have the redo, the print, and then you have a spelling and grammar check built in. It's the A with a check beside it. You also have a paint formatter. You also have a zoom. Um, you can make it bigger or larger here, fit to your page however you want. You can change that. You have normal text. It also gives you options of headings that are pre-made for you, heading one, two, three, and then you could uh, use default styles or reset the styles uh, that you're using. Uh, and the one beside it is your font type. So there's all different types of font that you can use to change that too. And then the size of the font, bold, italics, underline, 
The A with the line underneath it is your text color. If you click it, it gives you that little box to choose your text color. The one that is like a, a marker, it is your highlight color. So if you click that, you can highlight something with that color. This one is your hyperlink. So if you were to click that and you wanted to link something, so say I want uh, to link to the Salem Public Library, all I would do is I would need to go and get the link from the site that you want to hyperlink it to and go there and then paste the link in there and then click apply and you'll see how it turns blue and underlines that makes it a hyperlink right there within your document so that's kind of nice it gives you the the option um, then you have the ability to add a comment insert a picture and when you go to insert a picture you can upload it from your computer you can search on a on the internet for one from your drive your google photos by a url and from a camera um, on your device so you have a lot of options within that this is left alignment center alignment right alignment justify meaning spaced out through your entire page you, this one is for your line spacing so say you want uh, different spacing you can click that and be able to change whatever you have in your document uh, this one is for um, maybe outlines. If you want to do outlines, it will give you the format to set that up. And this is your bullet points. For lists, this one is indents. This one would be uh, increase and this is decrease. And this one would clear formatting. So say you put something in there and you want all the formatting the same, you could highlight it and click clear formatting and that would work for you. So all of that just in this toolbar, it's uh, right at your fingertips for you to be able to use uh, to make your documents easier. So that's basically uh, what this, this page is as far as formatting your text. So text basics, um, you need to be able to select an item uh, before you can change it or delete it. So as you can see here, so say I wanted to get rid of this, I would highlight this text, hold the cursor down, drag it over top till it turns blue, and say I wanted to delete it, I just hit the delete button. If I wanted to change the formatting as far as the text, maybe a different color, I have to have it selected first, like this, um, before I can change it. I also put here, there's several different ways to copy text, cut text, and delete text. So uh, it's just kind of for your review, there is a shortcut. Most people know how to do this already, but I just wanted to put the instructions in here just in case you weren't sure. So to be able to copy the text, the shortcut right here is Control C. So if you select, so say I want a certain piece of text, if you hit select it and hit Control C, it will copy it. And if you want to put it in a different place, a place in your document, you would hit Control V and it would paste it in there. Um, if you would like to cut the text, say you type something, you're like, I don't really need that. If you select it and hit Control X, it will take it right out of there. It'll cut it. Um, and if you want to move text to a certain place, if you have it highlighted, you could click and drag and drop it into a new so those are some kind of shortcuts for that. Control C, Control V, Control X, and then drag and drop. So I uh, just wanted to put those out there that you had those options uh, within your Google Doc. Uh, using edit, um, there are a lot of different things here that you can use. The undo and redo are built into it also besides on the toolbar. You can paste, paste without formatting. Uh, use a clipboard of things you copied. You can select all, select none, and find and replace. So uh, what I have on here is I'm going to show you how to use find and replace. And this is really nice if you have typed something up and you're like, I need to change this word that I've used several times. So say you want to change the word auction. You would type the word auction in the find and replace. Uh, and then what it will do, it will go throughout your document and find the word auction and it will highlight it. And then say you wanted a different um, word there, whatever word you want to put in there, you're going to put it in there. And it gives you the option to match case. And this is important, for example, if auction was the beginning of a uh, 
a sentence and it had a capital A, you would want a capital A instead of a lower case. So if you click that, it will match it that way. If it's just within the document, that's really not going to matter. Um, so you can click replace all and it will replace all of those words in the document. If there's only a certain one that you want, you can just choose the one that you want, click on it, and then just replace that one. So that's a nice feature in case you want to change some things without going back through and deleting on your own. As far as the view tab goes, um, there are a lot of options under view and I'm going to show you those. So if I go back into my document and I go to view, uh, you'll be able to see your print layout, your mode, and that's basically determining what it looks like across the top here. You can show your ruler, your document outline, equation toolbar, section breaks, or full screen. If I get a full screen, it basically get, gets rid of it. Um, all of those tabs at the top. So to get it back, you hit escape and it'll come back this way. So that's what you will find under your view. So the insert um, has a lot, a lot of things under it. And I'll go there and I'll show you the insert. Um, basically, if you're looking to put something in there, you're going to find it under insert. A lot of these same things you can find across the top here, but if you go to, if you, I always tell people when in doubt, go to insert and you'll probably find it. So if you go to insert, you can add images, you can add a table, you basically just can draw it and it'll put it right in there for you. Um, you can add a drawing, you can add a new drawing, or you can put it from your draw drive, a chart. Um, you can even insert a chart from Sheets. So if you made a chart in Excel and made a spreadsheet out of it, you can insert it, your information from Sheets on there. You can put a horizontal line across your page. Um, there's special characters, and you'll see here there's all different ones. Special character is not a Disney character. It's other it's characters that you're going to put in there. Um, you can put equations, headers and footers, page numbers a page break, your link, a bookmark, or a table of contents. So there's lots of things under insert that you can put in there and um, use. So these kind of just walk you through how to do that. Um, there are drawings built in that you could add. Your formatting. Let's go to formatting next. Okay, so let's go over to um, the format. So you have a, lots of options under format. You can change your text. This is pretty much the same things that are on that toolbar. Uh, there are a few more things like strike through, superscript, subscript, um, increasing the size and capitalization. So if you want something all uppercase, you could do that that way instead of, you know, typing it that way. You have paragraph styles, you have borders and shading. So you can put borders on different things. You can change the size of it, the color of it, the background color. You can put paragraph padding around it, um, border dashes. So you have all types of things with that under format. You have an align and indention, align spacing. You can do columns. So say if you need two columns for something, you can do columns bullets and numbers, headers and footers, page, and you can clear formatting. As you can see here, uh, a lot of these things that are crossed here, the shortcuts are found up in these at the top. But they have it several different places, so you know where they are. Uh, the next section I'll show you is your tools and add-ons. With the tools and add-ons, I'll start with the tools. That's where your spelling and grammar show. You can change uh, Change it by these different things, showing grammar, spelling, spelling and grammar together, your word count, suggested edits, you can compare documents, you can choose explore, you can choose a certain word within your document, it'll come up here and it will look it up on the internet and it will give you more information about it. That's a nice feature to have. Linked objects, a dictionary, translate, you can do voice typing, so if you get tired of typing and you just want to talk, you can do that. If you know how to run scripts, you can do script editor. 
you have preferences and accessibility settings under there. And with your add-ons, what you can do if you click get add-ons, there are other things that you can add on to your document to use. It will take you to the marketplace. Um, and these will be add-ons that you can use right there within your document. Editing history, and I touched on this briefly, but with the editing history, you can see um, how your document was edited, who edited it, especially if it's something that you shared with someone else, and then you can see the current version that you're using. So um, there are lots and lots of features built into Google Docs, and the best way to learn them and figure out where they are is to use them. So uh, I would suggest that you just jump in there and check it out and um, learn some learn where the different things are. There is the help also available for you that you could use. Um, you can see the star here. If this is a document that you would like to keep and use another time or know where it's at, if you click that star, you can look it up by the starred. So thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you will continue to check back and learn more about Google. Reminder that daily I am on um, Zoom, and that is Monday through Friday, 9 to 12. You can go to the library website and find the link to that, and you can join me and ask questions of anything um, that you may have that goes with technology. Thank you to Guiding Ohio Online, and I hope to see you guys soon.